Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you're doing well and welcome back to another episode of The Importance Of. And today I'm going to be looking at the Spanish winger, Pedro Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Before we get into today's video, I would like to request that you please do subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notifications icon as apparently that's important so that you can keep up with my video content, which I am uploading uh, quite frequently, so please subscribe if you like the channel. So, who is Pedro Rodriguez? Rod I can't say Rodriguez. Rod who is Pedro? Pedro is a Spanish winger that Chelsea bought back in 2015. Now, a lot of clubs were after Pedro. He had great success at Barcelona. He wasn't one of their superstar players, but he was an important player for Barcelona. And the fact how he was now up for sale, loads of clubs wanted him. Most notably, Manchester United, who were courting his signature for quite a while, by all accounts. They really wanted to bring him to Manchester. But he ended up moving to Chelsea and London and SW6 and... Chelsea managed to get his um, signature for 21 million pounds. In hindsight, 21 million pounds seems like an absolute snip, but to be honest, even then it was probably quite a good deal, considering Man United and other teams wanted him. 21 million pounds for Pedro was pretty decent for Chelsea. Pedro has won a whopping 25 major trophies in his career, <laughs> which again makes 21 mil look pretty good right now. I know that a lot of that was at Barca and whatever. I'm saying he's a quality player who's won a lot of trophies, so it's a good deal. Anyway, 25 major trophies, and this includes five La Liga league titles, three Copa del Rey titles, four Supercopa España or something like that, three Champions Leagues, a hat trick of Champions League for Pedro, three UEFA Super Cups, two FIFA Club World Cups, one Premier League, one FA Cup, one Europa League, one World Cup, and one European Championship with Spain. So yeah, madness. I mean, Pedro's trophy cabinet is big enough to make entire clubs feel insecure. I'm looking at you, Tottenham. So I wanted to do a video on Pedro because I feel he's quite an underrated player. He's a really good, functional, hard-working player right so he's like a workhorse he runs around he puts the graft in he covers grass he, you know he covers a lot of ground he puts in defensive work he'll listen to instruction incredibly well from his coach i personally feel like pedro's gone a little bit under the radar because he's not like an outspoken player or he hasn't got a massive ego and considering he's won so much and he's played in amazing teams you know you could forgive him or I wouldn't say forgive him but he could have this sort of ego but he's not he's quite a chill humble player and he just gets on with it and does what he's told so although I want to talk up Pedro a little bit don't get me wrong I'm not saying he's like Lionel Messi he's not a superstar player that shines throughout a season or necessarily grabs I don't say grabs games by the scruff of the neck because he does score big important goals which I'll talk about in a second but you know he hasn't got that superstar quality that makes him I don't know he's going to be player of the season or something he hasn't got that so I'm not saying he's that underrated I just feel like maybe he's a bit underappreciated so yeah a really functional player like I said a really hard worker like I said and really good at adapting and taking on and tactical instruction I mean he's played as um, you know he, he played as false nine in other clubs but he's played at um, dip both wings sort of a bit more of a free role he's played actually a little bit deeper recently he's actually played as a wing back as well so he'll do whatever the coach tells him um, he'll put in decent defensive work like notable defensive work and he will put out some good offensive numbers but score the odd important goal now Pedro can score a weldy at like at important times too I'm not talking about when you're 3-0 up against Huddersfield and he curls one top corner I'm talking about your team struggling you need a goal you're in a London derby you're playing against Spurs and Pedro fires an absolute long-range rocket to win you the points he has that in his locker he's a big game player when he needs to be so Pedro needs some respect on his name, I think. An incredibly talented player that works very, very hard. He's got a huge trophy cabinet and he's quite humble and keeps his head down. All sounds pretty good, right? But I think a big critique of Pedro is people think that he doesn't ever score or he only scores the odd worldie or doesn't get involved that much. And they might appreciate, you know, he's a grafter, but might think that the offensive numbers aren't there so i decided to have a little bit of a look and check out his statistics and numbers over his chelsea tenure so on that 
let's take a look at the numbers. So, Pedro, not synonymous with scoring loads of goals or assisting loads of goals. But you know what? He actually has 56 goal contributions for Chelsea over the last few years. And if he is doing all this defensive work and high press and everything, 56 goal contributions is actually pretty good. So that's 34 goals and 22 assists for the Spaniard. Those numbers don't look amazing on the face of it. But he's often subbed in and out and he might not be playing full games. So you know what? Throughout his Chelsea career, um, these numbers actually work out to a goal contribution every 162 minutes. Now Pedro's not a striker obviously, he's a winger. Uh, a winger that can do different, undertake different tactical instruction. As over the last few years at Chelsea, he's played under quite defensive coaches. So, you know, he's not being told to always just get on the end of balls and score. But to contribute to a goal every 162 minutes, that is significantly under once every two games. And over the years at Chelsea, that's actually pretty consistent, you know, he's never really just disappeared, he's always put out respectable offensive numbers, as well as scoring big important goals, amazing finishes, and putting in some defensive work. You know what, that's great consistency over his Chelsea career. Over his Chelsea tenure, Pedro's passing has actually been very good as well. Uh, again, over different coaches, he's managed to maintain an 85% pass accuracy very technical Spanish footballer that's good on the ball and good at passing, 85%. And also, he's managed approximately an average of 1.5 key passes per game, again, which is a very good number. So he's not selfish. Well, his numbers would dictate he's not a selfish player, um, you know, not scoring loads of goals and doing defensive work. So he's getting the key passes in as well. And at the ripe old age of 31, he doesn't really look like he's slowing down. He looks like he's sort of maintaining that consistency he has had over his Chelsea career. Just the last season under Maurizio Sarri, he had 10 league goal contributions, uh, eight goals and two assists, considering he's being rotated all the time with Ped uh, Willian. They, you know, often get those two mixed up. Uh, yeah, very good, 10 goal contributions. And also, a more notable statistic, he won five Man of the Match awards last season. Considering it was Hazard that was tearing it up and winning, you know, I forget the number, but m m mental amounts of Man of the Match awards, like by far the most in the league. For Pedro to win five Man of the Matches in the Premier League, that is very, very good. You gotta hand it to the little Spaniard. He's still got it. All right, that is enough of the numbers for the minute. Again, I wanna stress that I don't think Pedro is an incredible Galactico winger and we are so, so lucky to have him. But you know what? I think he is underappreciated and generally, Chelsea have been lucky to have him. And you can kind of see why loads of big clubs wanted him like Manchester United before Chelsea got him. And looking back over his Chelsea career, his Chelsea tenure, and his sort of hard graft and his good service to the club, 21 million pound transfer fee is looking like money well spent. The fact of the matter is Chelsea's wings or the future of Chelsea's wings is probably gonna be occupied by youthful, technical, pacey young wingers like Pulisic and maybe hudson Adoy and you know, things like that. So the, the sun is setting on Pedro Rodriguez at Chelsea Football Club. But Pedro deserves a moment of reflection. Like I said, the sun may be setting on his Chelsea career and his time may be closing in, but the time of Pedro Rodriguez at Chelsea has been a good one and he played an important role in many of Chelsea's recent successes. He won't be lauded as a Chelsea great or an icon or a big exciting personality or a problem cause or anything like that. He quietly got on with his business, scored some big goals, had a consistent record and was a very good servant to Chelsea Football Club. So Pedro Rodriguez, a great Chelsea servant and should be respected. Alright then that's the end of my video today on Pedro, I hope you've enjoyed it guys. Let me know if you have, like the video if you have, I'd appreciate that, comment down below, you probably see how I'm always down in the comments chatting to you guys because I like to interact with you lot. Um, yeah, really be interested to hear your thoughts on Pedro and how you reflect on his time at Chelsea and you know, positive memories for you, 
talk about your favorite moment of Pedro, like a goal he scored that I didn't talk about. Why not? Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Remember, I am a new channel and I'm trying to build up myself on this platform. Um, and you know, I'm not monetized at the moment. So if you want to help support me grow and continue the channel, you can donate $1 a month to my Patreon. It's um, I'll, I'm doing some form of exclusive content for anyone who helps to support me. So I'll put the link down in the description. I really appreciate any support you guys could do and I really appreciate your support generally in helping me grow this channel so that's it guys thanks so much enjoy the football if there's any on and I'll see you later you ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck I'ma get it how I'm living I'ma walk the walk outline my lines I rap through thought body bag the verse outline the chuck in my life seen trouble hustle on the double silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle yo chick like to guzzle bad boy stay in trouble i only love this paper sorry i don't I love me, baby.